And welcome to Trailer Trash or Treasure, the show where we take a look at movie trailers and analyze them as both communication and as art. I am on an old movie kick at the moment. I am going to continue on after doing Anatomy of a Murder. I picked out Godzilla, the original 1954 trailer for Godzilla to watch. It should be a blast. So let's get going and see if this is Trailer Trash or Treasure. All right, so a few notes about this film before we get started. Godzilla is a 1954 Japanese kaiju movie. I'm, just forgive me, I'm t I don't speak any Japanese. Directed by Ashiro Honda. We are going to watch that original trailer and see what people in, the, in 1954 thought would be really attractive to viewers in order to draw them into the cinemas. All right, here we go. Godzilla, King of the Monsters, alive, oh, yeah. <laughs> surging up from the depths. I love this. That's so sweet. It's so cute. Look at, I, I get that they want to do the, you know, the um, practical effects, which was kind of all they had at the time. But it, it literally looks like he's in like, um, like a tub that's pushing bubbles up. And I know that they've got the sky there and it's meant to be, but it's, you know, I love this. This is great. And this is, this is amazing. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. ...of the sea on a tidal wave of terror to wreak vengeance on mankind. Oh my gosh. King of the monsters. Oh wow, it's alive. these effects. Okay. All right. A little bit of uh, analysis here so far. Uh, we just jump in. It's Godzilla, King of the Monsters, D Destruction, Mayhem. There's no hint at a plot yet. Mostly it's just showing us the monster, which is mm, kind of a dangerous thing advertising-wise because you want to hold on to something for people to be impressed by at the cinema. But, of course, we're talking about advertising for the 21st century when we're talking about that. So maybe in 1954 with some new special effects, whatever else, you know, putting it all out there, they thought was a good strategy. I personally don't want to see the whole movie, or at least the best parts of the movie in the trailer, and then pay money to see the movie that went around the bits I've already seen. So, but well, we've got Godzilla at least three times so far in the first 13 seconds. So, kind of know what the monster looks like. Gigantic beast, stalking the earth, crushing all before it in a cyclonic cavalcade oh, wow. of electrifying horror, <laughs> raging through the streets on a rampage of total destruction. Okay, this is just, um, yeah, uh, there's no plot here. It's all about the special effects, which, you know, it's fair enough. Not, I think, really super with advertising, but, uh, you know, they're working on trying to build up a spectacle. And they certainly are going for the spectacle angle here with the various scenes of destruction and flames and all of the special effects that they probably spent a lot of time on and put a lot of hard work in to look like that. Godzilla, King of the Monsters! Incredible Titan of Terror! So wiping out a city of six million in a holocaust... I'm sorry, I'm not laughing at the, the wiping out of the city. What I'm laughing at is, and this is, oh, I love this. Okay, if we, we back up a little bit, if you, I don't know, maybe you can kind of slow, small to see on your screen, but when he blows up and sets fire to the buildings, the entire, like, back of the cardboard must have lifted off because the entire, like, set moves <laughs> as if it had just, so just watch. I don't know if you can see it, but it's, it's definitely there. Godzilla, King of the Monsters, incredible titan of terror, wiping out a city of six million in a holocaust of flame. Jet flames cannot destroy it. Wow. I can't hear the audio narration over these loud jet noises. So the mix, not, not really up to snuff yet. I definitely don't want to be competing with the sounds of your special effects with your narration. So that's just... That's just like an error in terms of communicating with your audience, I would say. The 
Germans cannot kill him. All modern weapons fail. Is oh, this the end of our civilization? <laughs> Can the scientists of the world find a way to stop this creature? Or the answer, see Godzilla, King of the Monsters. You may wish to deny it, but your eyes tell you it's true. <laughs> Is that Perry Mason? <laughs> Is he in this? I have to look now after this. That looks like Perry Mason. Maybe it's just like, like, it looks too similar to him. But anyway, we'll find out afterwards. There's a little hint of the plot there. They inform us that scientists are trying to stop Godzilla, which I guess maybe if you're a massive Godzilla fan, you're already quite familiar with this plot line of, you know, science versus wondrous animal creatures thing. A tale to stun the mind. More fantastic than any ever written by Jules Byrne. More terrifying than any ever shown. Is it though? Is it, this is interesting. I don't really hear a lot of advertising where they say, uh, you know, oh, maybe like, like from, you know, maybe they'll bring in Stephen King as a reference, but usually you don't bring in another author when you're trying to sell your product. It seems a little, little bit weird. I don't know that I would be like, you know, um, even scarier than Stephen King, I guess would, you know, you know who your standards are then, but it's kind of a weird advertising attempt, I think. On the screen. Awesome. Incredible. <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable. A change. story beyond your wildest dreams. You're really hyping this. Dynamic violence. Savvy Jackson. I have to say, um, you can tell 1950s was very different because I don't really know that people would be all that thrilled with the... Uh... Let's just go dynamic. with it. Yeah, dynamic violence. I am. Uh, mm, is that a selling point? I, I guess if in 1954's movie cinema goers it was, but it seems like a kind of a weird way to phrase this. Violence. Sammy Jackson. Spectacular thrills. Godzilla, king of the monsters. Fantastic beyond comprehension. They're just shouting at me now. They're just shouting how wonderful it is while talking over the special effects and the sounds. I'll give you my rating at the end. Gripping beyond compare. Astounding beyond belief. The mightiest <laughs> monster of them all. See Godzilla, king of the monsters. Well, all right, so that, that is the end of that trailer. Wow. Okay, is that trailer trash or treasure? Let's go through the categories one by one and evaluate. Visuals. Visuals, hmm. I'm going to give the visuals a, I guess probably for the time. In this case, you know, I'm going to say, like, I have to think a little bit about what they had to work with in the special effects. They're really giving it all, they're all. I don't know that the visuals really hang together, though. So do they present a coherent narrative feel? Mm, I guess insofar as if you want to just say it, it advertises dynamic violence and special effects. Yeah, you could probably. That was fine. So let's just let's just give them the treasure. Audio wise, trash. Uh, when you have the voiceover getting drowned out by the sound of jet fighters, or over the sound of Godzilla screeching or whatever wah, noise he's making, then it's difficult to hear. So audio wise, both with the mix and kind of the content of it, I'm going to give it trash. Concept wise, I understand what they were going for, which is spectacle, spectacle, spectacle. On the other hand, and I'm just going to, I mean, I have to hold this to the same standard I held anatomy of a murder, right? I think there is something to be said about having like some sort of through line and this doesn't really have it. I don't think that just advertising spectacle, spectacle, spectacle over and over and over is, is, a, is like a coherent concept that is designed to evoke a certain emotional response. Your it, um, how can I put this? So it's like the difference between uh, wearing something flashy and then wearing something flashy while being on the dance floor and like doing something that looks cool, you know? Like you want to bring it, you want to bring it all together. And yeah, you can have the flash and the 
the pizzazz, but at the end of the day, that's a very limited market. So I guess what I'm getting is, is, ah, yeah, yeah, trailer trash or treasure or meh. Ah, oh, this one's harder than anatomy of a murder. But end of the day, I'm going to go meh. I'm going to put it in the meh category because I do sympathize with their efforts to really showcase the special effects that they were putting on and to get this idea of, uh, yeah, a lot of emphasis and work being put into the spectacle of it. You're probably not going to go see Godzilla for the plotline. You're like, there's, except for like the one character. Let's find out if that was uh, Mason. So yeah, I think meh. I'm going to go with meh. I want to see who else. I don't know who that Perry Mason looking guy was, but I can't find him on here. All right. Anyway, so thank you all for sticking with me. And what do you think about Godzilla? Is it trailer trash or treasure? Do you agree with my take? Do you disagree with my take? Go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section below. And even better, if you have a recommendation for a movie I should watch, go ahead and drop that in the comment section too. All right, so until next time, I've been Christy, you've been awesome, thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you later. Bye.